Hey guys, this is Masood and it's another episode of redesigning YouTube website with using CSS grids. Here uh, in the last episode, I designed uh, my sidebar and it's not responsive. And in this video, we want to make it responsive uh, like this one. And you can see that when I make the window width lower, it will change to the another sidebar. It's smaller and even if I change it again you can see that the sidebar will be disappeared and we will have more space for our content here so uh, let's see how we can do it and uh, before we start please subscribe uh, to my channel in order to uh, receive notification when i'm releasing uh, some tutorial uh, on my channel and you can see them and learn more uh, okay here I have added all the necessary HTML elements of the small sidebar here and I only need to write uh, my CSS rules so let's start with sidebar small by default, it should be hidden, so display should be none. And also, I need to have a media query for it. Media max width, for example, 300 pixel. And in this uh, condition, we need to hide the biggest sidebar and show the smaller one so sidebar and sidebar small sorry uh, it must be display block and for the sidebar instead of uh, making this sidebar display to none I have another idea in order to have some animation on it to move smoothly to the left side I want to use absolute position for this so position should be absolute and in order to put this uh, sidebar at it self position when it's when it is absolute i need to change the wrapper position to the uh, relative so let's change the wrapper and here i need to set position relative yeah and i need to make some changes on it what are they i need to set sidebar mm. here top should be zero and i need to set the width 200 word pixels yeah and let's um, set the grid area grid area should be sidebar as we define it in our wrapper i guess in the previous episodes yeah the sidebar where was it uh, yeah and let's here make it uh, absolute position absolute and I also need a transition for it to all in 0.5 seconds for our transition and here in our media query in order to hide it I need to set uh, the width to 240 pixels and in order to hide it uh, I need to set the left property to minus 240 pixels 
and set the top to the zero in order to stick the uh, sidebar to its top and I also need to set, to set Z in the X to 10 and yeah I think it's enough let's see how things are working here as you can see in this page width we can't see the uh, bigger size bar and here we can see it it works properly so uh, we need to write our CSS for the smaller sidebar we also need to change the wrapper a little bit uh, I need to change the width of the first column I mean the sidebar column so great template column should be 70 pixels for the sidebar and 1fr 1fr to the for two another columns yeah I need to set background color of the uh, smaller sidebar to the white and also I need to uh, define mean height for our sidebar to for example 100 reach and it will continue to the end of the screen you can see it's really better now let's go for the sidebar to make it better so here I need another CSS rule for sidebar small and here you can see uh, that we have gotten one UL and there are uh, several LI elements that for each of uh, these icons so UL, LI and here I need to set display to the grid and uh, grid template columns we only have one column so 24 pixels and we need to justify it so justify content should be center yeah and we need to set justify for the vertical line uh, to the center again yeah and we don't need any grid gap for our grid let's have some padding I guess 20 pixel, pixel for top and bottom is enough and for right and left we don't need any padding so let's change our font and weight should be normal and it's by default normal we don't need it and font size it's better to be 1 or am yeah and change the letter spacing to this yeah but we have a problem for the subscription mm, yeah our font size is bigger than the original one so let's change it to this uh, a little bit smaller is enough yeah now it looks really better let's change the first icon color so sidebar small ULLI first 
child color should be this and also the fill should be the same yeah it's really better now uh, here our icons are bigger than so let's change it to 206 pixels a little bit bigger than a yeah they looks the same but uh, we need to change the opacity of the first all the icons here so sidebar small ULLI SVG should uh, opacity should be variable icon opposite yeah I also need a hover a behavior for them so side very small and ULLI hover uh, should change the background color so RGBA and this one I guess is better and I also need to change cursor to painter yeah it's good and yeah they are same so the only thing that I need to do is to make the smaller sidebar hidden at this position so I need another media query media max width 700 pixels and here I need to set sidebar small should be hidden so set the display to none and make it important to override the last value of it and the wrapper also should be changed at this uh, window size uh, we don't need uh, the first column and we only have you can see one column so create template columns again should be just one fr let's see yeah it works properly and good and responsive so as you so uh, we just wrote 200 lines of uh, CSS and most of uh, YouTube page functionalities are implemented. We just need to write uh, in the next episode about this functionality of uh, onclick event for this button and also for here. We will see how we can do it in next episode. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, uh, put a thumbs up uh, underneath uh, this video. Thank you again for watching this video. Goodbye to next episode.